gonna show you the easiest Adana kebab you'll ever make. And there's only one secret ingredient you'll need, and it's the newest addition to my spice range. So several months ago, I started my own range of seasonings. I decided to do one on the Adana kebab. Adana kebab is actually the first viral video I ever had. So I figured it's the right thing to do. So I'm gonna show you the easiest way to make this. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do my recipe based on one kilo of lamb mince, which I have in front of me here. This can also work with beef mince, chicken mince, anything else you wanna do. So traditional adana is actually made using a large knife. So you actually mince it with a knife using a zir, which is what it's called. I'm gonna do a very simple take on this. So it's not traditional, but it's very simple. So there's only one other ingredient we'll need, and that's my kebab seasoning that we have here. So that's the adana version here. Guys, instructions are all here on how to use it. This is a 300 gram jar, so you can make a decent amount of this. Now also on the top, there is a little shaker as you can see. So you're not limited to using this on mince. You can put this on chips, vegetables, anything else you like. Be creative. Everything's mixed in there nicely. So for one kilo, we'll need four tablespoons of this. So let's just add that in. All we're gonna do now is mix this all together. So you can already see that beautiful color coming along which is typically what you see in a good Adana kebab. Guys, mix well. It's one of their secrets to make sure your mince doesn't fall off the skewer. Mix it well. Pretend you're making dough. You're gonna need it. So guys, what we're gonna do now is cover this with some cling wrap. We're just gonna place this into the fridge for about half an hour. Just to let those spices work. Now because it's powder form, this is gonna work much quicker. If you want, you can leave this overnight for amazing results, but believe me, in half an hour, this is ready. All right, guys, so it's been half an hour. Let's take this off. And that aroma is just incredible. So guys, you got a few different options in doing this. I'm gonna put mine on my long wide metal skewers like so. You don't have to do this. You can shape these into meatballs. You can put them into little patties. You can make burgers with it. You can make meatballs with it. You can make sausages with it. Up to you how you want to do that. So guys, if you're going to do it my way, very, very simple. I've got a bowl of warm water here. We're going to dip our hands into the water. I'm going to grab, not a full handful, but about half a handful of our mixture and just against the bowl, roll it into a nice smooth spear. Just like that. Once you've done that, using our fingers, we're going to roll it into an oval shape like that. Grab one of our skewers. And you want to push the meat onto your skewer just through the middle like that. Don't break the seam on this side. As you can see, this side's open, this side is still closed. We'll dip our hand in the water and start pressing down. You're using your thumb to press down. Once again from the top, so I flipped it over, press down like that. That's how you get that beautiful shape. Once again, we'll flip it over and press down. Make sure you're putting decent pressure. You gotta press down for it to stick onto your skewer. And the bottom part will just take off like that. And we'll make sure the top is also stuck on properly. That's one skewer done, just like that. So there we go guys, in my case I've done three skewers. So let's move straight onto our grill. Now I get asked a lot how much meat is on each skewer. Well based on the size of my skewers, I've usually calculated it's about 180 grams. Don't go too thick. If you go too thick, it's not going to cook properly. But you can go longer if you like. Okay guys, so I want to medium to high heat. We're going to place our skewer straight onto our grill. So after about 30 seconds, we're going to flip our skewers. Basically what we're doing is sealing the meat onto our skewer, keeping that flavor in, and lessening the chance of it falling off the skewer. Now, as for a cooking time, this will take roughly around four to five minutes. And you don't have to grill this, you can put these into the oven if you like. We can put them into the frying pan if you like. Endless possibilities. After another 30 seconds, we'll flip our skewers again. And guys, basically all we're doing is flipping our skewers every 30 seconds until they're cooked all the way through.
So guys, the other day someone mentioned to me when they make kebabs, they have issues with it flaring up and burning their meat. So in my case, these flare-ups are completely normal. As you can see, the meat's not burning. But if you're having this issue and it's really bad, you've got two options. One, you'll see a lot of Middle Eastern people will get a fan, like a pedestal fan, or a hairdryer, and blow it on. The other option is get a tray or a large lid or something like this. Just using your wrist, just fan it. And as you can see, that stops the flare-ups. Now this is especially useful if you're cooking on charcoal. And just look at that beautiful colour. So, we're about a minute away from it being perfectly cooked. Alright guys, that's looking fantastic now. So what we're going to do is put these to the side, let them rest. Let's go ahead and serve. So guys, we'll just get our skewers at the top. You just want to push down and from the bottom, release it off. Once again, from the top, push down and from the bottom, release off. Now presentation is key in this business, so we'll wipe our plate. No point making a work of art if you're not going to present it nicely. So guys, what we're going to do now is just garnish it. In my case, I'm just going to put some fresh mint on the side. Mint and lamb always goes together. And we'll just add some chargrill tomatoes. We'll add two here, two over here. I've just got some chilies here, we'll add those. And of course you can't have kebabs without onions, so we'll place a few there. Just a couple over here. And how stunning is that? So guys, Adonai is very commonly served with pilaf rice on the side. In my case, I've just kept it by itself because it's just too good on its own. You don't really need those extra carbs. Alternatively, this is very popular, especially here in Australia, in just Lebanese bread with some garlic sauce and some salad. But that's really all there is to it. And how easy was that to make? And all you needed was your mints and my special seasoning. So guys, if you want to make this the easy way, that's really all you need. So this is available on my website, www.henryshowtos.com and I'm doing shipping worldwide, of course. Be sure to use the discount code which comes up in this video as well. As for my Patreons and YouTube members, your discount codes will also apply to this. So as always, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and turn in your post notifications. You can also follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. I'll